Uh oh. Ah. <laughs> I don't know why mine went that little big. You don't work at it. I'm on a struggle bus right now. What's she got? I'm, I'm on the struggle bus. I'm gonna have more gum in my beard than I'm gonna have in my mouth. Mm. You're gonna be Captain Gum Beard tonight. I know. Aboard the struggle bus. We get a call for a two-year-old that the parents noticed some swelling. She has some hives, so possibly having an allergic reaction. Hi. What's going on? She on the eight, Hi. Uh, noodles. She ate some noodles. Like, uh, shrimp, and noodles. shrimp. She might be allergic to shrimp. We We're going to take her to the TV. hospital, OK? She's got a little bit of swelling under her eyes, and I can see some hives and redness on her skin. So I would call it, you know, an allergic reaction, definitely. I'm just warning you. Sadly, we're about to make her cry. <laughs> because we're gonna have to start an IV on her and give her some Benadryl. You wanna sit? Let me slide right sit. over there, baby. Allergic Hi. reactions Hi. and children Hi. are scary. Can I see this arm? Oh. I know peanuts and shellfish both can cause anaphylaxis very quickly. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is this? Yeah. I know, it's it? wet. You see that? Wet. Yeah. You're terrible at distracting. Watch that. Water arm. treats food. Water treats food. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right, I know it. I'm it's so okay. sorry. That's it. No more. That's it. I'm Done. so sorry. It's I'm not her friend anymore. <laughs> she ever had shrimp before? Yeah. She had shrimp. You want to sit in a big girl chair? Allergic reactions are so weird. You can have that first initial one put you in anaphylaxis, and you could die from it. Let's go um, one to two milligrams per kilogram. Or you could be one of those people where you have that mild reaction first, and then if you come into contact with it again, it's a little more severe and then more severe, until eventually, if you come into contact with it, it'll cause you anaphylaxis. Let me see. Eyes not going to hurt up for us. That's it. No more. It's okay, Bobo. Oh. You all right? Yeah, it's actually common for the throat to itch a little bit right afterwards. Plus, be her being upset. She'll pass in just like two seconds. I saw that screaming. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. I gave her the Benadryl, and you know she started to vomit a little bit, which is fine. That's a normal side effect, especially for kids. It's okay. It's okay. 32, 34, go ahead. Still, you know, watching this cute little baby vomit and, and get a little shaky from the Benadryl, it makes you a little bit sad to be the bad guy. It does. You want to hold it for a second? Would that make you feel better? OK. Look, she might get a little tired too, okay? Yeah, she's gonna That's be pretty super normal. Sleepy. So she might actually even go to sleep, all right? Anytime we get, you know, such a sweet, you know, pediatric patient, it's like a little break. What kind of birthday party is she having? Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Your skin looks better already. You're gonna be perfect for your party tomorrow. You're welcome. You know, you're you're dealing with grumpy adults or very sick adults. And so to get, you know, that little breath of, of fresh air and to just have the chance to laugh with a child and, you know, play with them a little bit and things like that, it, it's definitely a break in the night. Why are you so cute? Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're going to bleed to death. Grant the knob. Grant the knob. They're not dead. I can work with that.